Okay, so I recently bought the Creality Sierra 10 V3, V3 version 3, and I'm extremely happy. There was a couple of uh, things that made me want to buy it. It was, one of them was this. This is the auto uh, filament detector. When it runs out of filament, it shuts off. You can reload it. It'll get back up to temperature and start printing again the same as normal. The other thing was you can kill the power and it will again get back up to temperature and start printing again where it left off. Whereas before you would, you know, lose your entire print. So I also bought this little upgrade. This is the VL. It's it's a uh, basically an auto leveler so you get it really close to level and then it auto levels itself from there on out the problem i was having was the spooling system so the filament detector when it runs out this thing lets you know and it just shuts off until you get back in here who knows how long but the way they tell you to set it up is this goes to the left side the spool the spooler it comes with is normally 90 degrees from here so it's running this way so it goes into the spool into that and the problem I was having is after time there was so much friction I mean tell somebody you have a 3d printer and see that you don't get a thousand freaking calls a day of, can you print me this? Can you print me this? <laughs> so anyways, this thing has been running pretty much nonstop for a month. So we go from here over to there and then down here and then it would run and anything that was big enough, it would run about a 40 degree angle all the way over here and it would actually lift the extruder. And screw up my prints, right? So what I did was I went on Thingiverse. One of the very first things I saw was the ultimate spool holder or spooler, spooler, whatever it was. This this little bit right here. Okay, so what I did was I printed out some Unistrut, which is also on. Thingiverse. So Unistrut is used in construction. Uh, normally it's metal, but I wanted it to be lightweight, so I printed out my own Unistrut, and I had some aluminum, and I made my own washers. But you can use basically your own the T bolts that that come. With the old spooler, you can pretty much use them with this. Okay, so now I have zero friction. This thing just runs, I mean, no problem. I can pull this, no problem. Um, but it takes away all the friction and makes your prints absolutely beautiful this is PTG black right now and it is unbelievably beautiful so anyways the only thing that you might need to, that you will need to buy are these so these are 906 bearings and I believe the ultimate spooler, whatever it is, you know, tells you to buy these. So they're 906 bearings. You can get them on on uh, Amazon. I still have a bunch left after this build. So um, there are two. Or six, so you buy ten of them for like eight bucks, ten bucks. 
Um, but that is the best way to go to set up your new CR10 V3. So, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope it helps. But now it's going straight from the spool down to the filament detector through the rollers into the extruder and you will have absolutely beautiful fucking prints every time.